Ooh, we're playing with Jack. Okay, that, that should be a good game. Jack is a really good player. I've seen Orb of Darkness instead of Frost Arrow and Five Arrow of Magi on Naga. Is possible. Um, stand skill mana shield second makes her really tanky and rope is very cheap. Yeah, rope is not very cheap. Like, if you just want to give him mana, you should give him pendants. It sounds like a really interesting build, though. That sounds like a really interesting build. Like, I never saw someone playing, and I also never played, actually, with the um, spell shield. Healing? Or war and healing? I like the war into healing tier 3. And that's really strong. So, we have a good draft again. We're playing with Jack, one of the best players in the game, against Terror this time. So, let's hope our bottom player is not griefing out, and and then we're Gucci. We have a good draft. Like, we have a pretty good draft, also, so far. So, I also want to check a bit how Jack plays. Because he is a very good player, I healed. I never saw him playing or played with him, but he should be a good player at least. So... So he's losing? Well, like... Yeah, he should lose, right? So I'm just... So we're playing like four footies in the back line. Um, like this Naga stuff sounds really interesting. Like, I might want to test this. Because if the Naga is tanky and has the uh, Dark Arrow, uh, like, you know, like the skeleton shit, then... She will not die and just will tank a lot and then create like a, a trillion of skeletons. Which is, in theory, really strong. And then you also can stack with her. So that sounds really interesting. It's a really heavy all-in play, but sounds very interesting. Um, but only works if enemy has no dispel tier 1. And is still very all-in. Like, I usually don't like this all-in plays. Because it's either winning hard or losing hard. I usually don't like this. Yeah, I mean, the Dreadlord loses heart here. I hope he has Dispel. He has Dispel, yes. He position in the back line too. So I should position in the front, I guess, then. That we might stack to push back. Um, My enemy has... Like, I should definitely go for one Shaman. Our town is under is but he will... Wait, no, he will never win the wave, right? Will he ever win the wave? No. He has, like, what, two footies? I don't know. Wait, it's a Paladin. I first think it's a Dreadlord. For some reason. Um, yeah, then he should win, right? And then we can stack a bit with him. And then we can push back. Uh, I don't need an upgrade to beat him, I'm pretty sure. Shamans are good against Grunts. We have the Dryad stack, pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, he's playing kind of standard. What the most people does. Uh, going for a hero as soon as possible. Same as him. I mean, anyone who watched me a bit knows that I don't like this playstyle. I like to skip the hero and go for the late one. But, I mean, there's also an upside to this playstyle. Uh, no, this is like the skins are really crushing me. This is a Dreadlord who has like a skin for rings. And this is a. Paladin, who has a skin to look like a Dreadlord. 
Like, <laughs> they're, li they're literally looking like each other, kind of, right? Like, this one looks like a paladin. And this one looks like a dreadlord. <laughs> like, it's really, it's kind of looking a bit different, right? So, I'm now preparing to get for the hero out next turn. We have the middle. I should get the hero out if I play like this, I think, right? And then hero next turn. Because I also want to get, like, we should be ahead now. And that's why I should actually reposition in the back a bit more, right? Let's see. Am I fighting the tower now? He's going for what? Like, it's really important to check items. So my position is actually fine. Like, we have really good opening, indeed. Like, he's adding... Okay, he has Windwalk. Yeah, sure. I don't really care much. So, it's a really strong start. I mean, we're winning here pretty hardcore. Or are we... Like, the Blade Master disjoint is actually really strong, I have to say. This disjoint is actually pretty strong. I'm kind of underestimating the Blade Master a bit. Like, I could scan it. Maybe I should have scanned it, probably. Like, I'm not I'm not facing Blade Master so much. Um, but if I go, like, for the Shaman upgrades, he has, like, no chance. Um, so I guess I, I do what? What's my team doing? Just playing more units? Just playing more units. Um, like, we have really a lot of footmen already, right? When, do I really need more footmen? Um, Paladin is also good for us. I think I also play Paladin, honestly. I mean, I just go for adept training now. I'm not sure, like, should I go for shield or for holy light? Let's see what the focus fire does. I guess the holy light should be better like this then. Like, he can't beat, obviously, lightning shield here. Is he going for items? No. Wait, did I just heal the blade master for damage? Did I heal the... Or it, did it just look like it? Or did I heal the Blade Master for damage? This kind of looked like it. We're not even fighting the tower. That's really good. We're not even fighting the tower. Well, are we even leveling up here? Would be insane. Not quite. Oh, wait. Ah. Uh, oh, nearly level 2. Oh, so close. And I was thinking this is the fucking uh, Blade Master, you know. Uh, the fucking Paladin of his side. It was a really good turn for us. Like, that was really good, actually. Should I... Like, I shouldn't really... I should take up kind of fast, I guess. He going for the mine. I think I should take up for next turn. We're not going for more shamans. We are really strong at the moment. So I think I just... Go for one and tech upgrade. And then tech. Because the roar makes me also a lot stronger. So we want to also tech. He's also tier 2 now. No items. No. Look, one damage upgrade and item. And roar. I mean, we obviously go for the Vine Shield here. I mean, the Blade Master is definitely stronger than kind of... Uh, why do I have this already disabled? Upala. Um, I shouldn't have this disabled, obviously, so much. Ah, come on. He's really leveling up like this? Yeah, this is my bad. 
I had the lightning shield disabled and didn't pay attention to it. My bad. So now we just want to get... Like one roar out. Getting one roar out. Yeah, I'm playing a bit sloppy here. Not gonna lie. We have enough shamans. Playing a bit sloppy. Um. And then, like at the moment, we should now just. At one round of rifles, I guess. Summon is complete. Summoning. And we also can go for the defense upgrade. Like, I'm playing a bit sloppy here. And we're pretty far ahead, right? Like, what is he doing? He's going now for Priest and Talons. I also should go for a Mine. Like, he's going for Heavy Mines. Okay, so he's playing this Tier 1 playstyle with Heavy Mines. So is he going for... I think I also should go for one more mine now. But I can't really go tier 3 that fast. Or I don't think it's good. I'm playing this really sloppy though. Like I should win way harder the raids. Like I'm playing this kind of really sloppy. And yeah he's playing this classic tier 1 must want put the dry it um and this and he's also kind of like ad advising to go for more mines which is reasonable um i definitely go don't go also welcome window again moin moin yeah sorry guys i can't read chat so much like if you want me to react on something please type at pika and chat and chat and then what you want because I really can't read everything and then play the game on top. It's a bit much, honestly. Like, I don't want to play too many of the... Uh, like, I really would like to go also tier 3 kind of fast. Because my tier 3 is pretty strong. So we're just adding some rifle here. Because I, maybe I should just rush it. Maybe I should just rush tier 3 here. Like, if my enemy goes for not defense upgrade, I also do it, I think. Yeah, he's not going items. I still want to go kind of soon, really, for the tier 3. But the thing is, he has breakers. So against him, I don't really want to go for Bloodlust, I guess. But this is not my opponent. Like, 1-1 one, one upgrade is fine. This is fine. He's playing magic damage. Like, the MGs are pretty good, though. Bloodlust, healing, like my tier 3 is so strong, right? Did I really kind of do want to go for it? We are also strong. Like, I, yeah, we go tier 3 here. I just need to... Like, the thing is... The guy is playing Dryads and Spellbreaker. So he can't really s steal my stuff. Because he has nothing to apply it on. Which is a bit weird. So my, our positioning in the back, in the front, in the back. So I should. So he's going for this 4 mine style. Sure, sure. And I will go for Bloodlust healing. MGs. Once it's done.
Like, he can't really buff his stuff with this. Because they're all magic immune, which is kind of a bit weird. And, yeah. I mean, I'm staying on two mines. What is he doing? Like, does he has items? He's now on tier 2. Four mines. Where's the hero? Where's the hero, guys? Don't see the hero. Yeah. And it's going now for an orb of fire. That the paladin says more on the back line, actually. Kind of interesting. We have the upgrades we want, kind of. We have 1-1. One, one. Um, MGs? Like, why MGs, really, right? Like... Let's go worm first. And then go for more. Okay. Like, worms with bloodlust, obviously pretty strong. So, what's the chat saying? Uh, 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 Would Beer's frontline be better? No, Bear's frontline are really bad. They are really not doing much. They are really weak. Like, I tried it once to play Bears, and they are so fucking weak, actually, for a tier 3 unit. So, I really can't recommend this. I mean... So go kill it. Yeah, I mean, um, Jack is playing like this style, simply where you basically don't want to kill the tower. Like they are playing a style to just don't kill the tower at all. While I kind of want to get it. And I also, also want to stack with them. But they are like, he, he, he simply wants to ignore the tower and just go halt full economy mode. Which I am not liking so much. But I mean, it's not bad what he does, but it's like the complete different approach of the game. Like I do. Like I'm having literally the complete opposite approach of the game. Like I'm trying to get the tower and he tries to not touch the tower to simply gain um, more kind of out in return on the economy so i probably should a bit adjust or what yeah or i mean all you the thing is if you're killing the tower then this problem is gone you know like so so i don't uh, fight in tower b <laughs> <You know? laughs> <laughs> so and he's going now for hippos <clears throat> he's going now for hippos and he's now stealing my bloodlust so wait but my i also like can you revive mgs guys uh, are MGs revivable with Paladin Ultimate or not? I actually don't know. Are they count? No. Okay, so uh, thanks, Window. Because I never had this. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, now we should also finish fast, right? We have now here a decent stack. I mean, actually, not really. So I need to add something against air. My anti air is actually pretty garbage, huh? Like, I should just add now. I think one more worm. I mean, the thing is, isn't it just good enough to just play four worms? Like, they really have to... Like, I'm kind of asking myself if it's just the play just to master worms. Because they... We have already a lot of worms. And they might be just too strong for our enemy. Yeah, but the Destros are not good against air. Like, why would I add Destros? What do they have which I want to counter like this? I mean, I could... I mean, yes, one or two death throws sounds, re like, reasonable. Because we want to dispel the bloodlust. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely not bad. My Pala... I, I don't really have much for my Pala ultimate, though. Right? Like, my Pala ultimate will not revive so much. 
but my draft also doesn't offer me much to revive. So my Pala ultimate is rather a bit weak. So I should now reposition the back a bit more. Like we're now fighting too much in the front. And we can still arrive here. Poor. Yeah, we are like... Yeah, this is kind of over. Okay, so Jack plays... So he's basically playing uh, like Chai. This is like the same Chai playstyle also. Chai also loves this. Yeah, I mean, we can go like for two death throws. Is it game? Okay, it's game. Is it game? Okay. Okay, so interesting. So he's playing basically the Chai playstyle. If you like the video, then subscribe and like there, guys. Thanks.